My name is Ronald, and I'm a chemistry graduate student here at the University of Manitoba. I chose this university because of the top-notch quality in teaching and in research, but also its nurturing environment for young minds. I obtained my undergraduate degree here, and during those years, I was heavily immersed in research through various opportunities, but in fact, because of those, I found my niche in chemistry, which is the medicinal organic chemistry research field. My project involves the synthesis and evaluation of antibacterial drug hybrid molecules. The problem nowadays in the clinic is the emergence of multi-drug resistant bacterial strains or multi-drug resistant pathogens. This problematic pathogen are almost impermeable to, to all the antibiotics that we have in the clinic. Our idea to eradicate these pathogens is to develop drug hybrid molecules from two different antibiotics. For instance, we have antibiotic A and antibiotic B. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to fuse them together via covalent bond to produce drug hybrid molecules. The main goal is that for our hybrid molecules, it can eradicate this problematic pathogen through multiple ways of action. My project involves a lot of synthesis or chemical reaction in the laboratory, but also purification, identification, and evaluation. Once I make my final compounds, I have to evaluate its biological activity. To be specific, its antibacterial activity against bacterial strains. Then afterwards, I would have to evaluate the toxicity of my compounds against human cells. For me to be able to do so, I use, on a daily basis, multi-million dollar equipments that we have in our facilities, such as NMR, mass spectrometers, and HPLCs. There are many advantages in doing research here in the University of Manitoba. For example, we have a lot of top-notch leading experts in various fields. To be exact, for my project, I am heavily involved with our collaborator in the medical microbiology department who specializes on multi-drug resistant pathogens obtained from the clinic and how to eradicate them. So what happened is that we send them our compounds, our drug hybrid molecules, and they test them against clinically isolated bacterial pathogens, those ones that you see from the clinic, and see if they are good or bad.